first thing that you have to do this is the front of my May fabric you open it you are going to pull the both side seam of the top dress together you put the side seam together you stitch it with your seam allowance my seam allowance is one centimeter when you are putting them together make sure that both front fabric are facing each other and you come down to this side put the side seam together stitch it with one centimeter seam allowance once you have done stitching take it to your ironing board and press the seam apart and you can also iron interfacing at the center back of your top dress the measurement that i'm going to take for the interfacing that i'm going to iron at the center back of my top dress is going to be two centimeter if you're using inches you can measure 0 0.75 inch once you have done that you also take your lining so this is my lining open it like this you are going to put the both side seam of the lining together when you are putting them together, make sure that both front fabric are facing each other. You are going to take it to your sewing machine and stitch the side seam with one centimeter seam allowance. So once you have done stitching, press the seam apart. Once you have done that, the next thing that you have to do, you take your first layer skirt. You are going to put the back and the front together. So what you are going to do, you put the side seam together. You stitch it with your seam allowance. My seam allowance allowance is one centimeter and then you come down to this other side put the side seam together stitch it with your one centimeter seam allowance once you have done that you also take the second layer you are going to repeat the same process so you open it like this put the both sides seam together stitch it with your one centimeter seam allowance depends on the seam allowance that you add on your fabric and then you also come down to this other side put the side seam together and stitch it with one centimeter seam allowance once you have done stitching take it to your overlocker overlock the raw edges or use zigzag to overlock the raw edges and you will also take your lining you are going to repeat the same process open your lining this is the front of my lining you pull them together like this you are going to stitch the side seam of the lining together stitch it together with your seam allowance my seam allowance is one centimeter and i will come down to this other side and i will also repeat the same process i will stitch it with one centimeter seam allowance once i am done with that i will take it to my overlocker i will overlock the both side seam raw edges I have stitched the side seam of my top dress this is how it is i take it to my ironing board i press the seam apart and i've also ironed interfacing at the center back of the top dress this is how it looks make sure you iron interfacing on both center back this is my lining i have also stitched the side seam together i press the seam apart the next thing that you have to do you are going to pull them together when you are putting them together make sure that both front fabric are facing each other what you are going to do you are going to take it to your sewing machine you are going to stitch the center back with one centimeter seam allowance depends on the seam allowance that you add on your fabric you stitch around the neckline of the back top dress do not stitch the shoulder you stitch around the arm hole. the front shoulder do not stitch it you stitch around the neckline the second shoulder of the front do not stitch it you stitch around the arm hole and this is the back shoulder do not stitch it yet also you stitch around the neckline and you also top stitch around the center back and this is my second layer skirt and i've also overlocked the both row edges what you are going to do you are going to take it to your sewing machine and stitch a gather stitch thread around the second layer skirt.
I have stitched it all together. This is how it is. The next thing that we have to do, we are going to cut our strap. So when you are cutting your strap, make sure that you fold your fabric into two. So I fold my fabric into two. What you are going to do, you take your measuring tape, place it like this. You're going to take a measurement of 5.5 centimeter if, you, if you're using inches you can measure 2.25 inch and then you place your measuring tape from the very top of the strap you're going to take a measurement of 38 centimeter or 15 inches once you take that measurement you cut it out and the next thing that you have to do we are going to take our ruler place it as a diagonal way like this we are going to give it a straight line and then you also repeat the same process with the second strap place your ruler like this and give it a straight line so you're placing your ruler as a diagonal way not straightforward a diagonal way and then you connect that mark to I have connected the map together. Make sure to also repeat the same process with this other strap. When you are cutting your strap, make sure you are cutting four pieces, not just two, because we have four shoulder right here. So we have for the back, we have for the two front, and we also have for the back. So you need to cut four pieces of strap. What you are going to do, take it to your sewing machine. You are going to top stitch all the way down. When you get to this point that we place a ruler and draw a diagonal way and you give it a top stitch. Once you have stitched that together, trim a little bit that from the seam allowance. Turn it inside and take it to your ironing board and give it a good press. Make sure you repeat the same process with the four strap. The next thing that you have to do, you take your first layer skirt. This is my first layer skirt. And this is my second layer skirt, which I have stitched a gather stitch thread all around. So what I'm going to do, I am going to gather the second layer on the first layer skirt. All you have to do, put the both sides in together, pin it all around. Once you have done pinning, take it to your sewing machine and top stitch with your seam allowance my seam allowance is 0 0.5 inch or 1.3 centimeter once you have done stitching remove the gather stitch thread take it to your overlocker overlock the raw edges or use zigzag to overlock the raw edges I have stitched the second layer on the first layer skirt. This is how it is. And I take it to my overlock. I overlock the raw edges. And I've also stitched my strap together. I turn it inside out, give it a good press. Make sure you do the same thing on the four pieces. The next thing that we have to do, we are going to insert this strap inside the shoulder. All you have to do you take your safety pin or whatever you're using, you place it at the strap like this, and then you open your top dress, you pass it through like this. Once you pass it through, all you have to do is just go ahead and adjust the strap and take your pin and secure that together like this. What you are going to do, take it to your sewing machine and stitch it with your seam allowance. My seam allowance is one centimeter. And then you also come down to this other side, you repeat the same process. Place your safety pin or whatever you're using and open your top dress pass it through inside like this once you have passed it through remove your safety pin and then you just adjust the strap once you have i have pin it in place the next thing that you have to do take it to your sewing machine and top stitch with your seam allowance my seam allowance is one centimeter so you also repeat the same process with the front shoulder 
and also the back shoulder the next thing that we have to do we take our skirt this is our main skirt all you're going to do turn it inside out so i will just turn my skirt inside out once you have turned it inside out what you are going to do you put both sides seam of the skirt together like this so you are going to put the back of the skirt together this is the back of the skirt this side is the front so what we are going to do from the center of the skirt that will be the center back we are going to take a measurement of nine centimeters so you place your measuring tape like this you measure that nine centimeter is right here once you take that measurement the next thing that you have to do you are going to take your scissors and cut it to that nine centimeter measurement that you take this is my nine centimeter i will take my scissors and i will cut it down to that nine centimeter so i'm going to turn my fabric like this you just place it inside the skirt and you give it a cut nine centimeter this is how it is the next thing that you have to do you take your lining this is the back of my lining you are going to put them together so that you also know the mid part of the center back so you put them together like this all you have to do place your measuring tape at the waistline you are going to measure that nine centimeter you take your marker and then you mark that so this is my nine centimeter once you have take that measurement you take your scissors you cut it down to that nine centimeter if you're using inches you can measure three and a half inch so i will turn my fabric and i will cut it out i have cut it down to that nine centimeter this is how it is this is the back may fabric this is the back lining this is the raw edges of the may fabric and this is the raw edges of the lining so you put them together like this and then you can take your pin to secure that in place and then once you have done that this is where we cut the nine centimeter that we cut I will just use a pin to secure it around I have used a pin to secure it around this is how it is once you have done that this is the back of my main fabric this is the back of my lining make sure that they are facing each other you also secure the both side seam of the both fabric together once you have done that all you have to do you push the lining inside the main fabric once you have done that the next thing that you have to do you are going to put the both fabric together and stitch a gather stitch thread all around the fabric I have stitched my strap together I just turn it inside out give it a good press this is how it is and I've also stitched a gather stitch thread at the waistline of my skirt this is how it is and this is the open gap that we cut at the center back so what you are going to do you are going to cut a fabric so I'm going to tell you the measurement of my fabric the width of my fabric is three centimeter if you're using in inches you can measure 1.25 inch so what we are going to do we are going to pin it around the center back so when you cut your fabric make sure that your fabric is on fold when you are taking the measurement so my fabric is on four when I take three centimeter by weight make sure that your fabric is also long so that you can pass it through all around and on this other side I fold inside one centimeter that one centimeter once we have done stitching that is what we are going to use to cover the raw edges so what I'm going to do I am going to pin my fabric around the center back I have pinned my fabric together what I'm going to do I will take it to my sewing machine I will stitch it all the way down with one centimeter seam allowance once I am done stitching, I will trim a little bit out from the seam allowance. 
I have given it a top stitch. This is how it is. And I take my scissors and I trim a little bit out from the seam allowance. And this center right here, and I cut it very close to my stitches. So what I'm going to do, this one centimeter that we folded inside, I am going to use that one centimeter to cover the raw edges of the placket. You just go ahead and pin it all around the placket. Once you have done pinning, take it to your sewing machine and top stitch it all around. Once you have stitched that together, so you will have the board placket open like this. So when you have the board placket open like this, so you are going to turn one side inside and top stitch at the waistline. And while this other side is still open like this, do not fold this side inside. You are just folding one side of the placket inside like this. I have stitched it together. This is how it is. I fold this side inside. This is how it looks. The next thing that we have to do, we are going to gather our skirt at the waistline of our top dress. So what you are going to do, you open your front top dress. This is the front of my top dress. And this is my skirt so i will come down to this side this will be the center back i will pick one of this placket and i will pin it in place on the side of the center back once i am done with that and i will also come to this other side and i will pin this side on this side of the center back I have pinned it together. The next thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to put the side seam of my top dress and the side seam of my skirt. I will just pin that together like this and I will continue with the other side, the side seam of my top dress, the side seam of my skirt. I will pin it together. So what I'm going to do, I am going to gather my skirt around the waistline of my top dress. Once I am done with that, I will take it to my sewing machine and top stitch with 1.3 centimeter or half an inch. Once you have done that, take it to your overlocker, overlock the raw edges. When you are pinning it together, make sure you separate your lining. I have stitched my skirt around the waistline of my top dress. This is how it is. I take it to my overlock. I just overlock the raw edges. The next thing that we have to do, we are going to use our seam allowance to cover the raw edges. My seam allowance is 0.5 inch or 1.3 centimeter. So I will just fold it inside and use it to cover the raw edges of the waistline. Once you have pinned it all around, when you are going to stitch, you are going to place the front of the top dress on your sewing machine and stitch it all around. Once you have done that, you use the opportunity to put your snap closure or your button hole and also use that opportunity to hem your skirt. I have already hemmed my main skirt and I've also hemmed the lining. Once you have done that, that will be the final look of your dress making. And I will show you how mine finally look once I am done stitching. This is the final look of my dress, beautiful dress to make step-by-step -step tutorial. This is how it is. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for your like. Thank you for your comment. Thank you for your support. We appreciate you. You can also support us by giving us super thanks. You can also support us by giving us stars on Facebook. Follow us on all social media platforms, Hello Angel Door Design, Facebook, Instagram, Ticked Hello Angel Door Design. And you can also find our website, www.helloangeldoordesign. Thank you all so much and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.